Hi, this is Senator Malcolm Roberts in Australia's national parliament. Uh, I'm actually at home, but uh, I'm, I'm in the parliament as a senator. And I have with me a very exciting guest. He is Professor Will Happer from Princeton University in the United States. Princeton was the place where Einstein did some work and also Dick Feynman, wonderful scientist, some of the best in, in the world, in world's history. We've really got a very entertaining and exciting person because Professor Will Happer believes that science is fundamental to, to the improvement of human progress. Could you tell us about, about your early days in science? When I went to college, I majored in physics and I came to Princeton as for graduate school and I got a degree uh, in nuclear physics here, uh, you know, working on the nuclear shell model and experimental uh, uh, ramifications of it. And I went to Columbia, which uh, was famous for its work on radar during the war and uh, radiation in general, and it learned a lot more about uh, radiation, including infrared and light, which are involved in climate. And I guess I'm probably best known in the scientific world for having invented the uh, sodium guide star, which modern telescopes use for uh, uh, compensating the uh, distortion of the atmosphere when you're looking at distant stars and galaxies. Uh. After 50 years, Professor Happer, our CSIRO, in answer to my request for empirical evidence on, on anything unprecedented, they presented us with one paper written by a fellow lead author called Marcotte in 2013. So I don't know what they relied upon before 2013, but that's what they presented. What's your opinion of the Marcotte paper? Well, I remember looking at the Marcotte paper when it first came out, and it was uh, sort of a Michael Mann hockey stack uh, wannabe. <laughs> so, I, I mean, uh, within a, two or three weeks, you know, many people had pointed out that it didn't make any sense that, for example, it was partly based on the thesis of one of the authors. And if you looked at the thesis, there was no hockey stick on it. So somebody simply graphed on this final uptick in temperature. It's never been clear how they did it. Uh, uh, I, I don't think it means anything. You know, it's, uh, I'm surprised that uh, their sponsors would bring that up as a defense. You know, if, if I had been the uh, agency, I think I could have provided you with some examples of how CO2 had affected uh, the world, and that is, it, it has clearly made the world greener, you know, and so crop <laughs> yields are going up, and uh, and it's, uh, it's almost certain that that's due to CO2. That's the only thing I can think of there where you can point to CO2 as, as the likely culprit. You know, it's not changing any uh, extreme weather. It's not, you know, the temperatures are rising uh, sort of the way they've risen and fallen many times in the past. There's nothing extreme about that, but this greening really is unprecedented and it's very fast.